Hi everyone, my name is Sibo and welcome back to Littlewood. Today is Tuesday, August 25th, day 16 of spring. It's 8.48pm uh, at the time of recording this, so quite a late episode. Uh, possibly the latest I've ever recorded. Oh hey, it's the journal! <laughs> Was it here this whole time? Well, Laura, I'm sure Laura will be uh, happy to see this. <clears throat> Dear Dwight, Delta keeps starting his jokes, but forgetting the punchlines. I think he's losing his memory too. No, I think that's just Dalton. I realize I also have, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm I, I have a case of amnesia at the moment, but like, I could tell. D Dalton just seems like a sort of person who's always been forgetting punchlines. Dear Dwight, I don't tell you this enough, but you are almost as beautiful as me. Yo, Bubsy laying on thick. I don't. I don't know, but I don't, uh, Bubsy, you're kind of, you're starting to creep me out a little. Along with, like, half of the, uh, <laughs> townsfolk here. <sighs> I couldn't find it. Climbed on trees, crawled through caves, I even fell into it. Is that my notebook? You found it! All my notes and research fully recovered right here in... Oh, oh no, it's unreadable. All the pages are soaking wet. It looks like I'm gonna have to start all over. Wait. What if he helped me with my research? If we work, tw work together, we can record our findings twice as fast. It's settled. I'm moving into your town. Okay, I, I guess I guess Laura is moving in as well. Oh, your name is Dwight? What a heroic name. Well, Dwight, I need to talk to you about something really important. Hurry up and build me a house. Okay, well, before I build you a house, Laura, I need to build uh, Zena a house. Um... But how are you doing, Dudley? I really enjoy eating all types of fruit and veggies here in Dwyland. Variety is the spice of life. Oh, it's Mel. <laughs> hey, Dwy. So, the weirdest thing happened today. I was selling decorations at my shop as usual, and one of my customers said that the cactus of Dwyland is also the hero of Solemn. I just had to say hello and to thank you for everything you've done. Dwyland really is a beautiful town. Ugh. Gotta head back home soon. I'm running my very own decoration shop, but things aren't going so smooth. Maybe we'll see each other again, Dwight. Okay. <gasps> Cow wants to eat uh, a kakumba. The heck is a kakumba? Probably like a cucumber. Oh, we don't have a kakumba. I'm, I'm so sorry, Humphrey. Maybe one day. <laughs> I'll get you a kakumba. Alright. Let's get some gathering XP today. In terms of donut of choice. Uh, but before we do that. Uh, we need these planks. Um, so I'm not going to upgrade. Give me a boost in gathering, please. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. <clears> throat constantly feels like there's something stuck inside it. Probably because I just ate a soft tofu stew. Um, a Korean dish. Very good. It's probably my favorite dish, to be honest. A, a tofu, seafood, um, minced pork, all that good stuff. Hey, Delton. Hey, Dwight. Yesterday, a gobby ran up behind me and tapped me on the shoulder. He was like, Boogie Woogie! And then I was like, Poogie Woogie! And he was like, Boogie Woogie! And then just laughed. When I turned around to look, he made a goofy face at me and then ran away. Oh. What a, what a, what a posh little gobby. Look at this. Gop, 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 okay. He has this monocle and a, and a mustache. Very dapper of you. <laughs> did we talk to Willow today? I think we did. Yeah, he talked, she talked about how Delta can't make jokes. Vibrant bed. Contemporary wallpaper. Plain lamp. Solemn clock. 
hold off for now. Hey Ash, what's up? I know all about ores and smelting them into bricks. That lumber mill just gets me stumped. <sighs> okay. Hey Dubai, you should build that quarry when you get a chance. I could help find some extra ore deposits for you to mine. Ash's ever-changing voice. <laughs> will, will I ever settle on a voice for him? Probably not. Honestly, I'm forgetting like half of the villagers' um, voices. <laughs> they all somehow morph into a southern accent one way or the other. Hey, do I want to hang out today? Don't you dare say no! Um... <clears throat> Just walk away. Just walk away slowly. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some uh, cactus of Dwyland things. Ah, yes. Hmm, fascinating. <laughs> yeah, sure, we can hang out. <laughs> <coughs> Why not? Just don't uh, blow my face up, and we'll be good. Everyone's on and on about coffee and donuts. Those bland and tasteless things aren't good enough for me. I prefer my herbal tea and grass on toast if I'm in a snacking mood. Do you have a favorite snack? <coughs> Sorry. My favorite snack. What is my favorite snack? Hmm. I like... I don't know. I like Pocky. Was that my favorite snack? Probably not. Nut mix? Oh, one of those like, has those like yogurt bits. Um, with like, with like almond and almonds and like, you know, the, the, that, that kind of mix, snack mix. I really like those. Hey, Dwight. Please, take your time with building my house. In my tribe, I used to have to sleep on dirt beds, so I'm used to the outdoors. Well, I will uh, definitely endeavor to build you a house today, <laughs> so you don't have to live on dirt beds. Okay, I think we talked to everyone in town, so we're good to go on that front. Um, let me just review what we had to do. Right, we need to collect more plum berries. Well, we do have... We do have two more plum berries that we can uh, play around with. So I'm actually going to destroy couple of these uh, slime apple trees. I don't remember which one grew and which one didn't. We'll, we'll destroy this one though. And uh, this one as well. Because we have, you know, a decent amount of slime apples, but we don't have that many plum berries. So my thinking is, well, uh, oh, these are, these are not, where are these guys? What are what are you? Oh, the the plumberry trees are here. That's okay. <laughs> we'll just we'll just build there. That's fine. We we'll also have more potatoes. So on the same front, I'm going to destroy some of these carrots to make way. Or Prince Sally, no. Uh, to make way for the potato. Okay, I think what we needed, if memory serves me correctly, yep, we needed one more fancy plank. So we'll do that, but I'm also going to check what Laura needs. Laura requires. Eight plain, plain bricks as well as eight wooden planks. We could do that. 
And the quarry needs uh, a lot of fancy bricks and wooden planks. Okay. So, but first things first, we need... Um... Oh, wait, no. We needed um, a fancy brick. Right, 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 right. Okay. We have, we have enough planks, we just need the brick. So we should head to the uh, dust mines. Yeah, dust mines get plain bricks and magic bricks. Or whatever they're called. <laughs> dust cap. Let's hope the hall is good this time around. Yo, why did I go? A secret? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. About the serpent. We know, we know all about that. Okay. So, first things first, let's uh, skirt around these guys. I, I already forget their names. Wallows? Mallows? Wallops? We need some magicite. And we need a bunch of stone. I'm not sure how much stone we want, but uh, in order to give Laura, uh, Laura a house, we're gonna need a lot of bricks. Um, I'll mine one more. That might be enough. And if not, then we can always just wait till the next day. Hop over to the endless forest. The leader of the lightning mages is Dr. Elm. All right, we knew about that already. Hey there, hero. I got some supplies for your exploration. Golden bell tree, ooh. And see. Free wood, don't mind if I do. Alright, what did we need again? Um, <clears throat> we have enough planks of uh, both varieties. We probably have enough stone for the bricks. We just need to, to craft another brick. The only issue is that we I think we need more wood, just regular wood for the quarry. Man, I really don't remember. But uh, while we're here, we might as well of the slime apple, <laughs> but we might as well uh, chop some regular trees down. Just a couple. And then be on our way. And for the rest of our energy, we'll use to craft some bricks. But yeah, today was a, a pretty good day. Uh, went to work, taught, I was a little more strict to my students this time around. Um, I don't know, I've been feeling like I need to improve my teaching lately. Um, so I'm trying kind of different, different approaches. Because um, ultimately I want my students to improve, it's just frustrating when they don't really spend the time to practice or they don't really know how to practice correctly. And I feel like that's on me. <clears throat> I didn't always want to be a mayor, you know? When I was a child, I wanted to be a cheese maker. It's a shame this is a fishing city and not the cheese city. By the way, I can't stand the smell of fish. Then, uh, I don't know why you're the mayor in this town. You, you don't sound like you enjoy it at all, so... Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> you do you. But yeah, I don't know. It's, uh... Like, the, the problem with their practicing is that they're not... They're just playing the pieces over and over again from beginning to end, but not really digesting what 
their mistakes are and how to fix them, how to go about to fixing them. So I've been trying my best to teach them the correct methods of uh, practicing, but applying that is a whole nother issue. And I don't really have control over that because, you know, they're at home <laughs> when they're practicing. Oh, that bear wants more friends and not one. He's always running around asking people for donations. I once saw him on the pier, butt naked. He's crazy. Why, why would... Sir? Why? This park here in Delica, it's great for relaxing. If I ever was to go on a date, I'd bring that special lady here. Oh, I hope she likes the smell of fish. But, sir, you were butt naked? You're the mayor. <laughs> for crying out loud. What kind of example are you setting for the uh, people of Port Delica? Yeah, level 12 in fishing! Justin, cut it, cut it! I will let fishermen with at least level 30 to ride on my boat. Uh -huh. Alright, nothing really to do in uh, Delica right now. Okay. Back to Dwyland? Back to Dwyland. All right, let's craft a bunch of things. One magic brick. Got a bonus brick out of that. Uh, and a bunch of plate bricks. I think we need eight. Weren't very lucky with the bricks there. Didn't get any duplicates. All right, let's head into build mode. Uh, we're gonna move some things around. We're gonna move just to make some space, right? Something in the way. What's in the way? Oh, the bug. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move uh, some buildings around. Just because I want some room for houses. So first up, let's build Zana a house. Put Zana's house like over here. And Laura, Laura, you can go right, slot yourself right next to her. You guys can be neighbors. There you go. Create a path. Like so. See what Xana wants. We're gonna have to build uh, these town folks some desks as well. This house is so big. I've never slept in a house before, let alone had my own. So, which corner should I put the dirt in? Maybe I could tear a hole in the ceiling to let some rain in for the showers. Is that what you did with your house? Uh, no, not. Not exactly. Even when I was with my tribe, I never had my own space like this. This really means a lot to me, Dwai. Yeah, let's give you a compliment. Uh, thanks, Dwai. You always make me feel like I'm at home. And you know what? Screw a little lift. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out with, with Zena. I thought you'd never ask. Here, can we build you a desk? I guess we should build you a bed. Nah, you, you don't need no bed. <laughs> Desk more important. <laughs> want one moody bed? You want your house to be within 16 spaces of a town square. Okay. Uh, we can, we can do that. Not right now, but we'll, we'll do that eventually. What about you, Laura? Wow, it's really cozy in here. Thanks for letting me stay in Dwyland. We're going to learn so much together. I'm so excited to restart my research here in Dwyland. Tomorrow I think I'll have a look around town. 
Uh, we also need to build you a desk. <laughs> essentials. I don't know. I wonder why desks aren't considered essential. The moment that question came out of my mouth, I realized the answer. But. <laughs> in the context of a game where the desk is like fulfilling people's wishes, right? You'd think that it would be categorized under essential, but I guess not. Alright, is there any last things we want to do before we head off? Uh, we want to sell things. Probably. Admittedly, there's not too much we want to really want to sell. Wooden toy, perhaps. I feel like heroic merits will be used for something, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, weird metal. I'll hold on to that. Yeah, it's fine. Just a wooden toy today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a quarry? Um, what do we need for the quarry? Ten fancy bricks and ten wooden planks. Okay, well, um, <laughs> we can at least get started with the planks. Plus, I think I need to build Ash a, a desk. Four planks. And for the last bit of energy, uh, we want to make some magic bricks. Yeah, all right, perfect. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, thank you so much for supporting the series, all of you who are watching. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Um, and I'll keep pumping these Little Wood episodes out each and every day. Um, hopefully there will be more on this YouTube channel other than Little Wood, but we'll see. Um, although it really depends on how much time I have during the day. But in terms of Little Wood, it's a uh, pretty... Uh, easy in terms of just like recording it and then uploading it so this I can keep up pretty consistently but um yeah anyway thank you so much for, for watching this has been Sibo this has been Littlewood and I will see you guys tomorrow oh, we're level 20 in crafting Need to work on our fishing so we can see what Captain George has in his boat. Oh, it's a plague of weeds today. And is that a gobby on the ground? I guess you guys will have to find out tomorrow. <laughs> All right, take care, y'all.